Hello everyone, my name is Letia and I'm from the beautiful island of Laos and I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. My name is Casey, I'm from Tavua. We love Today FM in Tavua. Today FM rocks. My name is Selina, I'm from Tavenga Vengamba. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Hola, my name is Carlo. I love listening to the music in Today FM in Malak Island. Today FM rock. Today's hit music on Today FM. In the news, long dry spell a concern. NFP gears up for 2018 election. NPM meets Fijian community in Brisbane. From the studios of FBC Suba, Amrita Sagar. Villages in the Yasawa group are experiencing more than three months of dry spell and this is impacting their source of food and water. Ropate Valeme was in Navotua village in Yasawa era to report on the issue. The long dry spell continues to be a challenge for most villages in the Yasawas and Navotua village is no exception. Village headman Ami Rogotimbao says they need more water tanks. When it comes to water problem, we want to expand our water tank, which can store water from the dam. We cannot find water during drought. When it rains heavily, most water are wasted because there is only one water tank. There is no water at the moment and we are waiting for another rain to fill up the tank. Rokotumbao says talks are in the pipeline with the Worldwide Fund for Nature to distillate sea water into clean drinking water. Agriculture consultant Mercedes St. Loli says they have stepped in to introduce crops that can grow during dry seasons. Now what we found out was uh, uh, this uh, beautiful village Navutua is uh, prone to drought. Uh, so every year it would have a, a, a drought period of about three months. And also when you look at the climate change projections, uh, there would be continuous uh, increase in temperature, so there will be increased number of hot days, so that means uh, there will be more drought. Eh? St. Loli is working with the WWF Pacific to introduce root crops such as kumala that can sustain food security in the village during a dry spell. We work in collaboration with the research division of the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, located at Cornivia Research Station, and we brought in nine drought-tolerant varieties of sweet potatoes. And uh, so those nine uh, drought-tolerant varieties were planted. Navatoi village is highly prone to tropical cyclone, and food preservation is the only way to sustain food security. Rapata Valime, FBC News. Two police officers have been charged for aiding two prisoners to escape and for disobedience of lawful order. The two officers appeared at a special court hearing at the Bar Magistrates Court yesterday before resident magistrate Samuel Angida. Eroni Serukalo and Samisoni Navika took money from Raman prisoners Josefa Nandomo and Isake Naio when they were supposed to be remanded at the Natambua Remand Centre. The two officers are alleged to have dropped off the prisoners at their different homes in Lotoka and picked them up for their next court hearing on July 18th. Both police officers are remanded in custody at the Natambua Remand Centre. The next court hearing is on 31st July. The National Federation Party is wasting no time in gearing up for the 2018 general elections. The party has recently appointed former chief executive of the Sugarcane Growers Council, Jagannath Sami, as full-time general secretary to focus on the logistics of the party. Sharon Shivan reports. It's time. Jagannath Sami, who has had a distinguished career in the sugar industry, is now taking on a permanent role as the general secretary of the Green Party. Uh, priority and objective is to um, strengthen the uh, party further I mean, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, communicate the party's policies and, um, and also gauge the issues which is, you know, uh, worrying our people out there. Sami was appointed by the NFP management board in conformity to a resolution unanimously adopted by delegates at the party's annual general meeting last month. The new general secretary is aware of the mammoth task ahead. A wide um, range of uh, activities that, the, uh, that I'm expected to carry out from now till the election. I was uh, initially uh, just concentrating on... Uh, 
on 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 the sugar sugar industry and i was i worked for some 35 37 years in the sugar industry i chose nfp national federation party for for who um, for which i had um, you know, uh, contested elections uh, previously. The NFP is confident Sami will form a formidable combination with party president Pio Tikanduandua and complement the work of the party leader to ensure success next year. And given his extensive uh, experience and understanding of uh, issues not only for sugarcane growers but uh, for issues generally, uh, it's a great uh, boost and it's a great uh, addition to uh, our planning and our team to take the NFP into the elections in 2018. For now, Sami has no intention to contest but to assist the party in the 2018 general election. He replaced Bala Das, who has resigned to concentrate on his role as General Secretary of the Fiji Cane Growers Association. Sharin Shivan, FBC News. Investigations continue into the death of a 31-year-old Dranjana Wati and her three children who died in a house fire at Narere in Nesinu on Thursday last week. Police spokesperson Anna Naisoro told FBC News there has been no progress yet as these cases take time. She adds the investigation depends largely on the report from the National Fire Authority. NFA media officer Ritesh Kumar says investigations are ongoing and a report is expected to be released early this week. The children aged 4, 3 and the youngest, an 18-month-old baby, all died with their mother after being locked inside the house. They had returned from visiting their father who was still admitted in hospital for attempting to commit suicide earlier in the week. Police confirm the deceased woman's husband remains admitted in hospital. Police and the National Fire Authority are working together to ascertain the cause of fire and the circumstances surrounding the incident. Issues concerning citizenship investment opportunities, Fiji socio-economic development and the latest initiatives implemented by the government dominated a Talanoa session held in Brisbane, Australia yesterday evening. Prime Minister Varenge Banyamarama led the Talanoa session with the Fijian community living in Brisbane. Rachel Nath has more. Mr. Varenge Banyamarama is in Brisbane leading the Fijian delegation to the Fiji Queensland Trade and Investment Symposium, an event designed to develop and strengthen investment and trade opportunities between Fiji and the state of Queensland. Banyamarama discussed key areas that would boost socio-economic growth in Fiji, including agriculture and rural development, trade and industry, lands and mineral resources, Itoke affairs, as well as Fiji regional and international obligations. The Prime Minister also highlighted key initiatives that are being implemented in the 2017-2018 national budget. These initiatives include welfare support, education support, investment support, as well as funds allocated to boost the utilities and ICT sector. Bainarama also invited Fijians who have made Brisbane their home to work with the government to build the new Fiji. The evening event also saw the Prime Minister and his delegation receive feedback and questions from former Fijians on the work carried out by the government. They included ICT capacity for investment, the future of Fiji's sugar industry, dual citizenship, land leases, tourism, importing food for crops from Fiji, and so on. Also accompanying the Prime Minister are government ministers and senior officials representing government ministries and agencies and the Fijian Elections Office. Rachel Nath, FBC News. Well, still to come, farmers lose livestock to theft. And find out who our successful Fijian is after the break. Moala rara rara na lika, au tikongwa na tau na Singapore, ando talisa kana waka ronga na mbula fan, namba dua ina serve. We have lost too many kurna bili, ibora ni watu kara hambara bina rna, ando talita kina na waka ronga na mbula fan, namba dua ina serve. Bula. Bula FM, number 2 in Seri. Farmers in Nosori are concerned about the increasing number of livestock theft, especially cattle being stolen from their farms. Majority of farmers claim stolen cattle are slaughtered, then sold to the public. Savara Tambor reports. 24-year-old farmer Monish Riteshwan says it's saddening to see his only source of income has died in an unusual circumstance. 
Ritesh Van says he's been running his farm for more than 10 years and this is the first incident he has come across. So it's uh, good that police already have uh, caught them, eh? but the problem there are the people who have a farm like this maybe should just take care of a cattle, eh? look after it, or maybe the police can just patrol net them. Asisela Takita, another farmer, says a people caught stealing livestock should be given harsh punishment. It's quite sad to see those kind of actions slaughtering of our cows. Man was killed along with two goats and I think something should be done to put a stop to these kind of criminal activities. Police have confirmed to FBC News that four youths were sentenced for 18 months to two years after getting convicted for stealing cattle in Osori this week. The youth were arrested last week and were taken to court after stealing five cattle from different farms. Few others were also taken in for questioning recently on similar case. The youths were from nearby villages in Osori. Meanwhile, FBC News spoke to other concerned farmers in the area, but many chose to remain anonymous with the fear of being intimidated or threatened. Sabira Tambua, FBC News. An Israeli humanitarian project will be undertaken in the country from tomorrow. An ears, nose and throat medical team comprising of four specialists arrive at Nursuri this evening. All the ENT cases that Suva CWM Hospital cannot address will be screened by the Israeli team. Screening of patients will begin tomorrow while treatments and diagnosis will commence soon after. They will work at the CWM throughout the week till the 2nd of August. People should focus on investment instead of consumption when planning for the future, says Fiji Stockbrokers Manager Ezromi Emanuel. Emanuel says Fijians should plan their short, medium and long-term spending and then consider saving the rest for the comfortable future. He adds having proper access to financial opportunities is also an important component. Emanuel says the South Pacific Stock Exchange Investor Awareness Seminar is a great platform for this. The seminar, uh, seminar is aimed at assisting Fijians understand the mechanisms of the stock market and the benefit it entails. The seminar will be held on Thursday at Suvestano Plaza from 1 p.m. Consumption is probably high at the moment. Eh? And this is one area that people can do uh, save money or even invest for, for the future. Uh, there are some uh, people have objectives and this is an area that they can achieve their objectives. Opportunities will not always present itself. Therefore, we must take full advantage of what is before us. Taking this into account, entrepreneur Rowi Lal has never underestimated herself when it comes to her passion for art. In our successful Fijian segment tonight, Rachel Nath caught up with Lal who shares her journey into the business of art. Successful Fijians is brought to you by the Fiji Development Bank, your partner in progress. There is no good business than more business. That's what I believe. Entrepreneur Rowi Lal currently operates a collage craft clothing line, couture clutch and a Christmas wreath business. When I started this collage business, I realized that my art wasn't selling so much. So it gave me an idea of if it's not selling in canvas form, why not put it in clothing form, you know? So from canvas to clothing, and then clothing to bags, and then bags to wreaths. Large creative work has taken the spotlight since it started, expanding her clientele. Ever since the line went out, I had so many calls and so many women, and um, I was amazed when everybody else wanted a piece of it. Lyle's next collection for the Fiji Fashion Week will feature classic man's clothing, along with an expansion to the rest of her business arm. We are um, investing in a, um, an actual factory of making more wreaths and um, this year we plan to um, sell to um, hotels and um, international businesses. Early this year I um, established Clash Couture Fiji and um, we just uh, signed off uh, with uh, one of Fiji's uh, biggest retail groups and we're going to be setting up um, around the island. Um, launching in October. For Lal, the opportunities are endless and she believes no one should underestimate their talents. Collaging gave me a sense of direction and where I wanted to go with this whole collage work and, and fashion and then retail bags and then wreaths and the wreaths were, the wreaths started off with just a small idea and you know, 
that's the thing. Every great business starts off small. I mean, you don't need a whole pile of money to make a big business work, you know? I started off, um, I started off from scrap and right now I just want to keep going, keep, make, keep setting more goals and that's the thing, you got to set goals, you got to give yourself a sense of direction, you got to know where you're heading because if you do not have any clarity in where you're going. From designing Halloween costumes for fun to crafting as a hobby, Lal has today proven that anything is possible through the right attitude and passion. Rachel North. FBC News. Successful Fijians was brought to you by the Fiji Development Bank, your partner in progress. Coming up in FBC Sports, Rewa wins BOG final. And Nandranga hopes to retain Fairbrother Trophy. This and more after the break. I'm Anare Sarvakuroa of Nayabu Wendemburga Televu. Whenever I want to tune in to listen to great music, I always tune in to my favorite radio station, Gold FM, only the classic. My name is Lita. We love listening to Gold FM here at the Fiji Hiding Resort and Spa. Gold FM, only the classic hits. We here at Tano Waterfront Lautoka love listening to Gold FM, only, only the, the classic, classic hits. hits. Gold FM, only the classic hits. The Rewa football side has won its second straight title, beating Nandi 2-1 in the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants final at Churchill Park today. Striker Iosefo Verevo was the hero of the side, scoring two goals in the second spell. Iosefo Verevo has done it again, scoring Rewa's winning try to secure their victory. Winning coach Marik Rondu was a happy man saying it was the team bonding that had given them success. Uh, in a row. We had the long season starting from Champions League. Uh, the boys uh, really stepped it up game by game. And uh, basically the, the team beats with one heart. Uh, we, we, we share the same thing, we talk about the same thing. Our focus is on the same thing and we believe in one God. And that's, uh... Rondo says despite the tough final, he thanked his players for defending well until the last whistle. Leading up to this, uh, this final game was very tough. Uh, there was, we travelled to the north, came back from the north, playing uh, hard semi-final against Lambasa, then travelling to the west. Uh, the conditions were hot in, here in, uh, during the final. So it, it was tough for us really and uh, to be here and uh, winning the game back-to-back, uh, -back, it's, uh, it's a great fit for us. Man of the match, Verivo dedicated the goals to his families, teammates and his great friend, Setareki Hughes. I dedicate the win to my mom uh, and uh, to all the fans of Rewa and not forgetting my fellow, fellow under 20 teammate, uh, Seter Kius, uh, his mother. I'd like to dedicate the win uh, to his mother too, even though she's not here or even uh, she's not with uh, Seth. I'd like to dedicate the win to her also. The team now turns its focus to the Vodafone Premier League, which begins next weekend. Melitavanga, FBC Sports. And you can watch the delayed coverage of the match at 10 p.m. on FBC TV. The Nandranga rugby side is hoping to continue their winning run when they take on Suva in the second challenge of the HFC Bank Fairbrother Trophy this weekend. Captain Manu Atamaya says they have accomplished their plan last weekend, beating Neta Siri, and their aim now is to defend the title from Suva. The Stallions will host the capital at Lawanga Park on Saturday with the time yet to be confirmed. Challenges, uh, the Fair Brother challenges are getting, uh, it's always a strong game, strong match. Uh, we're hoping uh, to have a good game against Suban. The team, uh, if any changes, uh, uh, the team is uh, always the same. Meanwhile, in the HFC Bank Ratu Chasaya by Nimarama Shield, Navosa will take on Lotoka in the second challenge on Friday. The Newtown Rugby Club beat Ulu in 9-3 to win the 2017 Nasinu Rugby Union final yesterday. Melitavanga reports the two sides showed an impressive performance as they both locked at 3-all at half-time. It was a great experience for both teams as they showcased pure talent and skills in a thrilling encounter. First of all, I want to dedicate this win to the Lord. We've been a strength and appeal of this team and uh, I think for the last three weeks, we've been through a lot with uh, Jerry Tuwai, who has been uh, helping us a lot, especially in uh, preparing for this uh, final. 
It was tight affair in the second half as Apisai Lomani kicked in a penalty to extend their lead. Both teams defended their territory well as they tried to score but attempts from both sides were unsuccessful. Uh, I know that uh, Ulunakau, most of them are sevens players. Today we uh, tried our best to play up front in the forwards so we can close things down for them, don't let them lose. And uh, today, top of it, uh, we, gain, we managed to have a victory. <laughs> With the success they've achieved throughout the competition, game organizers are looking forward to the next tournament that kicks off next week. A uh, second stage, uh, another competition which will be started uh, next week with the uh, Ramsami Challenge Cup, uh, Shield, which will be, Newtown will be the holder, and uh, the first challenge will be Sendu Bungandam. So that's another exciting uh, uh, club competition of our union. The win was a successful one and very emotional as it was dedicated to their chairman's wife, who passed away on Friday. Meli Tabanga, FBC Sports. Vodafone Flying Fijians coach John McKee believes being a rugby coach is something that develops over time. McKee says... Like Charlie Vatambua, look, I've been watching him in, in France for a couple of seasons and, and I've seen his, his game really mm. steadily improve over there and he, had, like a, he, he got selected this year on, on the back of his performances in France with Poe and, and he for me was one of our outstanding players right across the right across the series. The Fiji women's football team has lifted their preparation to another level as they expecting a tough competition against New Caledonia in its last match of the OFC under nineteen women's championship tomorrow. The Saroch Fiji plays New Caledonia at twelve thirty PM tomorrow. The Fiji Volleyball Federation has elected Nanise Vuthango as the new president of the federation. The former University of the South Pacific Volleyball President and Deumba coach was elected during the Fiji Volleyball Federation annual general meeting in Suva last week. Vuthango, 45, is the lecturer at the Fiji National University College of Medicine. She says they're aiming to try and build a better and healthy relationship with other affiliated districts in the federation. Seven-time rug Super Rugby champions, the Crusaders, cruised into the 2017 Super Rugby semi-finals by beating Highlanders 17-0 last night. The Crusaders finished second on the Super Rugby standings at the end of the regular season, so they will play the winner of the Stormers vs. Chiefs match at home in Christchurch next weekend. Sean Stevenson's late score helped the Chiefs overcome the Stormers 11-17 and advance to the semi-finals where they will play the Crusaders in Christchurch. This was not the classic these two sides served up in April, but rather an arm wrestle where points were at a premium. Meanwhile, Lions defeated Sharks 23-21 this morning. Cloudy periods with brief showers was experienced over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands today. Fine weather prevailed elsewhere. A weak trough lies slow moving over Vanuatu and extends southeastwards over western and southern parts of Fiji. Looking at the west, Ba, Lotoka, Nandi and Singatoka were fine in the morning but cloudy in the afternoon. Ba was the hottest at 32 degrees. Eastwards from Pacific Harbour to Suva, skies were semi-clear with cool winds blowing by. Suva was the coolest at 28 degrees. And all the way up in Vanualebu, a few morning showers was experienced, but it was cloudy for the rest of the afternoon. At sea, easterly winds 10 to 15 knots, moderate seas, moderate to heavy southwest swells. And for the tides, low tide tonight will be at 11.14 p.m. with a high tide tomorrow morning at 6.22 a.m. The beautiful sunrise once again will be at 6.39. Also, tomorrow, we are most likely to have perfect sunny conditions throughout the centres. Tomorrow's temperatures, Lotoka, Ba and Lambasa will be the hottest at 31 degrees. And looking further, cloudy periods with brief showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. It will be fine elsewhere. Recapping the main stories, long dry spell, a concern for villagers in Yasawa. NFP gears up for 2018 general election and PM meets with the Fijian community in Brisbane. 
For these stories and others, you can always tune in to Daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. To our poll question, this week we are asking, should strict action be taken on those retailers who fail to adhere to the decrease in fuel prices? Visit our FPC website to answer. Well, do send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email fpcnews at fpc.com.fj or share it with us via our Facebook page of FPC News. Or you can also follow and tweet us your news tips at FPC News or simply hashtag FPC News. And that was your FPC News for tonight. Until next time, good night. सुबह मेरी आँख खुलती है तो मैं मिर्ची एफएम सुनती हूँ मिर्ची एफएम इस नंबर वन इट्स सो हॉट हम लोग बार टाउन के केरिया ड्राइवर लोगों ने हम लोग के मिर्ची एफएम सुनो अच्छा लगे मिर्ची एफएम इज हॉट हाय मैं संध्या नारियल रेफरी से मेरे सारे दोस्त मिर्ची एफएम सुनते हैं मिर्ची एफएम हॉट आई लव मिर्ची हमें